Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It has been so long since I have filmed for this channel, but I have a sudden urge to thrift and I wanted to bring you along with me because I'm looking for some clothing, which I haven't in a long time, but I'm kind of in the mood to do some thrift transformations with some clothes. So let's go thrifting and see what we can find. Maybe I'll also find a little bit of home decor. I have a few things in mind like shelves, but usually when you go out looking for something like that, you're not gonna find it. <laughs> but I'm kind of on a home decor kick again. I was on a kick like, I don't know, maybe in like February-ish where I wanted to decorate my house and I'm kind of back in that feeling like, oh my God, I've been at this house for uh, seven, seven months and it still is like incredibly incomplete. So I don't know, figured that I could do some work to make my house feel more like feel like a home again uh, get back into that type of thing but I've been super preoccupied with my garden if you're not familiar I'm building an outdoor garden which included building a really big fence and that took up like most of my headspace for the last couple of weeks but now that that is over I can kind of like see an opening to do other things so anyway that's my plan for today let's get going so I'm almost to the thrift store and I'm psyching myself up to like film in public because it always feels so scary. But then I think to myself, like I literally nobody knows me here. <laughs> so like, what does it matter if I'm the weird girl with the camera? It, it doesn't, okay? So that's one thing I wanted to say. The second thing I wanted to say is look at my new purse. It's a backpack, but it can also be a shoulder bag. Really nice. Oh. Okay, bye. <laughs> I just realized that my microphone was not on so here we are <laughs> okay so just left the first thrift store and as you can see I got something in the back which is super exciting oh my gosh I've been looking for this item for a long time I'm gonna wait to reveal it to you until later but I've been looking for this item for a long time and I have not been able to find something that I liked and I found two of them for $10 in the style that I enjoy. Maybe someday I'll do some refinishing on them, but shoot, they were in really good condition. I'm considering going back for the other two later, but I definitely can only fit two in my car and I think that the area will only fit two anyway. So anyway, I'm gonna go to another thrift store just because. well and truly in shock that I was able to fit all four of these in my car. <laughs> Let's not underestimate Roxanne ever again, okay? <laughs> Hello, we are back home and I am so thrilled with all my finds today. Seriously, it was a really good thrift day especially for it being just like a random let's go thrifting type of day. I feel like those are always the days where I do the best and the days when I have like the most vague expectations and like hopes for what I want to find. Could I sit down in this shot? Let's see. I can. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that I want to say is I lucked out like crazy with these bar stools. So I've been looking for bar stools mm, not so seriously for maybe like since we moved in seven months ago. And it was gonna be difficult because we don't have like a super high bar. Um, it's just like a regular, regular size bar. And I think finding stools that height is a little bit more difficult. And also it's just cringy to have to buy something, then return it, buy, return, buy, return. So I was really hoping that these would work out and they fit perfectly. So let me show you what they look like. Well, first of all, I have this one that I was just sitting on. So I have four of them. And the other three 
are right here along the bar. And I think that I'm gonna keep only three right here because that would, I mean, yeah, that's the most that I could even fit in this spot. So yeah, that's super awesome. Let me show you a close up. Okay, I turned the lights on because it was really blown out. So, okay, you can see the beautiful details of the wood. I don't know if I'm crazy about this color of wood, but like the wood finish, but I could change the wood finish later. I was just really happy to find a cane piece that had the cane fully intact and like it's a little stretched out, but not too bad. And cane is actually pretty easy to replace if you just like, you know, go to the right place or if you do it at home yourself, there's lots of ways that you can do it. So anyway, I just cannot get over how amazing that find is like truly it's so good um, okay so I got a lot of kitchen stuff at the first place that I went to so I want to show you what I got there's a lot of kitchen stuff that like over time I realized oh shoot I don't have this I don't have this I don't have this and like over time the cost really adds up to buy all of these things and you don't need to buy these things brand new right so I try to avoid that if I can unless I really really need it right away but I like to keep a list in the back of my mind of things that I need around the kitchen or just like around the house that I could thrift instead of buy brand new. And one of those things was a cupcake sheet. So I don't have a cupcake sheet right now. How often am I ever gonna make cupcakes? Probably never, <laughs> but it is nice to have them for special occasions if you ever did want to make cupcakes for an event. I feel like I made cupcakes a lot like when I was a teenager. I don't know why I have that memory, but I feel like I did. So this was $3 and it's in really good condition. It's clearly been used, but honestly that doesn't bother me. I'm just gonna wash it and it'll be brand new again. Well, at least in my heart, it won't be brand new, brand new, but in my heart. <laughs> Another kitchen item that I've thought about a lot is a flour sifter. So basically you just put the flour in there and then you pull this and it makes the flour come out like not clumped up and stuff. And I think during baking, this is really helpful. And I do the bulk of my baking in the winter time and like around the holidays. So that's not really gonna be helpful for me now, but it will be later when I'm doing more baking. And it is pretty dirty, but as long as it gets a good clean, it should be totally fine. <laughs> the next item that I got is this citrus juicer. And I really love it because it's like a glass piece and this would look really pretty on display so I don't necessarily have to hide it away like if it was like a really bright plastic one um, I could probably just put this on my open shelving back here and it would look really pretty also my open shelving <laughs> I never touched it once I like set it up the first time I did it and I don't really know how I feel about it it, it needs a revamp for the new season let's just say that but anyway there's that and then I got a Pyrex uh, measuring cup this was three dollars this was three dollars all this kitchen stuff has been three dollars so far so these are just really helpful to have when you're baking and I don't have one so I only have like actual like measuring cups but this is nice because you can measure like liquid or whatever else so I don't have one of these and I was really glad that I found a Pyrex one too okay the last thing that I found in the kitchen section is this um, stone cookware I think that it's I actually don't know if I would ever bake in this I'm not really sure what the point of it is like I don't know but it feels like a clay that hasn't been fired so what I'm going to do with it is use it as a planter I'm gonna put some cactus in it probably like something that the planter like base is noticeable because with everything else it would probably cascade over and not be noticeable so I'm really excited about this. I think it's so cute and it'll look so good with like a bunch of little cactus in it. I'm so excited. I'm probably going to be going to a cactus shop next weekend or not a cactus shop, but just like a plant nursery next weekend that has like a pretty good cactus selection. So I'm going to look to see if I can find anything that would look good in this little planter. I love it. Continuing on with the home theme, I got three frames, which I just adore. I thought they were so cool. So here's this first frame. This was $2 and it has a little stand. It has these cute little beads on the bottom. I'm gonna sneeze. Half this video is gonna be me cutting out me sneezing because I've sneezed a lot. If it looks like I'm crying, I'm not. <laughs> my allergies are so bad. Okay, anyway, 
it has a little hook on the back and um, little stand so I just thought this was really cute and timeless it's in pretty good condition like I definitely need to like wipe everything off I'm gonna wash everything that I'm bringing home obviously but I thought that was really cute and then I found these darling frames and they're matching which is even better which, oh my gosh I just love it I can see like pressed flowers in this or just like a corresponding botanical drawing in these I just love it I actually want to do a gold frame wall in my office room and I've been kind of collecting random things to go on that wall so these three items are definitely gonna go because this is ridiculously good now clothing these are the last three items that I got I didn't find a ton of clothing I was hoping I would find more but I'm pretty satisfied with what I found so first of all I like to thrift my belts I don't remember the last time I ever bought a belt brand new because I can just find belts with so much more character at the thrift store so I thought this one was cute because it has like a cute little cowgirl buckle situation it's just a braided leather belt situation but I think it's really cute and it fits me pretty well um, the part that hangs off after I like actually clip it is probably like this long which is probably like the shortest belt tail I've ever had normally my belt tails are really long so I don't know if this belt like fits me or if it's too small honestly I don't know it might be the first like well-fitting belt I've ever purchased I don't know at this point I'm so lost okay this was a good find and it's so soft this was $4.99 it's by David Dart collection I don't know who that is or where this is from but it is a linen shirt so cute and it's in a really nice color let me put it on for you. It has really cute wooden buttons too, which I love. So let's see. I don't really love the idea of putting this on straight out of the thrift store, but I'll do it for you. And then I'm gonna wash it. Oh, it's just so cute. It's just like a nice little over layer. I love little like button up shirts to wear with jeans and a little top. Like I would probably wear it with something like this if I, I don't know, was feeling like it, but I just think these are so cute and like linen is everything so i thought this was a really wonderful find um especially with it being 100 percent linen usually things are like linen blends or something like that but this is 100 percent linen which is really exciting also did i say that i only had three items left that was a lie there was there's more than that okay look at this gorgeous vintage dress every time i find a vintage dress i buy it uh, and do I wear them? Mm, sometimes. <laughs> this is one that I can really see myself wearing. It is so beautiful. Like, it is so pretty. It has the most beautiful, dainty fabric. Let's see if I can get the details. Are you gonna? Yep, there we go. Can you see that? It's just so pretty. And the sleeves. And look at the sleeve cuff. Oh my gosh, it's in really good condition too. There's definitely some, like, not rips, but just places where the fabric is coming apart from, like, I don't know, fraying and stuff like that. You can see it right here. It's just coming off. So that's really easily fixable. Um, and I feel like in my capable hands it'll be fine so i'm gonna put this on and see because i didn't get to try it on in the thrift store oh my gosh this dress was made for me i haven't even seen it full length but this dress was made for me it was it, it was made for me to frolic around in my forest behind my house and dance my little dance oh my gosh do you see how light this fabric is? It is so pretty. Like if I was like a really low key person, I would use this as my wedding dress. Absolutely, 100%. This is a beautiful, could be wedding dress. Like this length is to die for. Are you kidding me? <sighs> and it fits me perfectly. Like this dress was made for me. Oh, and it has little ties. Let me tie the back. Oh my gosh. It doesn't smell very good. It just smells like it's been sitting in a closet for years, which it probably has. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, let's do a little twirl. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, the sleeves. Here I was thinking that I would get rid of the sleeves. That would be a crime. Oh my gosh. I just went up to show Daniel and he said that it looks like a wedding dress. I totally agree and I'm 100% bummed that I didn't find this for my own wedding because I would have 1000% worn this as my wedding dress. Look how beautiful. Oh, it just moves so nice. This fabric is so pretty. Ah! Okay, I have to take it off, but I don't want to, but I need to try on the other things. It's just so good. Okay, this is the next little dress that I got. This dress is originally from Aloft, which I used to shop at when I was a teacher. No, no, no. I feel like I bought stuff from them for like business casual when I was working at an office in college. I didn't shop there when I was a teacher, I don't think. Anyway, I don't like love it as a dress, but I think it'd be really cute as a shirt. So I'm gonna look into shortening it and doing something like that. But the sleeves are really cute. It's like a tulip sleeve. I love that. And the print is really pretty. It's just like a cute little floral. So this would be a really cute little blouse. I'm probably going to shorten it though. And also the bottom has a little ruffle on it. And yeah, but I guess it's cute. It's not like mega cute, but it's cute. <laughs> okay, and the last thing I got are these black jeans. I think well, I'm pretty sure they're from the men's section. I, honestly, I couldn't really tell at the thrift store. Please fit. All right, we have the classic problem of them fitting my waist. Like, they fit my waist okay, but I can't get them up any further because the legs are so tight. They're definitely men's jeans or little boy jeans, which is so sad. I was really hoping they would fit me. This is not gonna work. Thank you guys very much for watching my thrifting video and little thrift haul. I love everything that I got. Seriously, I got a lot of really good stuff, okay? The jeans, bit of a bummer, but everything else I'd say was a big win. So if you like this kind of content, you like thrifting, you like making things, you like just hanging out with a friend, definitely hit that subscribe button and hang out with me more often if you're coming from my first channel. Hey, welcome. This is me. Uh, it's Becca, me, <laughs> in a different mood. I'm not doing plants right now, but it's still me. So if you like me and you like my content, you'll probably like it over here too. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.